good and evil. Good, like in the Bible, when you see good and you see the word evil, we have these American concepts of what good and evil is. Um, good literally just means functional. Like when God, when it says God made the uh, the uh, herbs and He made the land and made the animals, and it says He stepped back and He said it is good. It said it really says, and it was functional. Like it it operated according to the purpose He made it for. That's what good means. It means functional, and functional is judged by purpose. If God made something with a specific purpose and it functions according to that purpose it is good so guess what evil means what evil makeup and long nails and blood and all that no that's not what evil means evil just means dysfunctional every part in the bible where it says evil it simply really is just saying dysfunctional or violation of purpose that's the definition of evil is a violation of purpose so if you know you use your friend's car because yours is broken and then, you know, they, they let you use it. And then you go to the gas station, but instead of putting gas in there, you just grab a bottle of pancake syrup and throw it in the gas tank. And they're like, why did you do that? That's not what that's for. That tank is not for pancake syrup. You violated the purpose of the gas tank. And so that's evil. Because that's not the purpose. When you do stuff that's outside of purpose, that's what evil means. So Forget all the stuff, you know, dictionaries or church or people taught you about what evil means or what good means. Those are the definitions. Good, functional. Evil, dysfunctional. Good, functioning according to purpose. Evil, dysfunctioning and violating purpose. So that's why it's important to know your purpose so you can function according to it. And when you don't function according to purpose, you're being evil. You're violating your purpose. And you shouldn't. So, prime example, Adam and Eve. God gave them a purpose. They violated the purpose when they disobeyed his commandment. And they invited dysfunction into the realm of humans and the realm of earth by dysfunctioning, malfunctioning. Bad and evil mean really dysfunctional. That's why even in Spanish, like malo for bad, which is like malfunction. You see, like all that's very in front of our eyes. And so when we're behaving, guess what you either have? You either have good behavior or bad behavior. There's no in between. And good behavior is determined by what? If you function according to your purpose. That's all. Forget everything outside of your purpose. Forget what social media says. Forget what your friends suggested or not what God told you to do. Forget all the stuff. When you get that clear mindset to listen to God and what he has for you, and you just begin to function according to that, you're going to start seeing, wow, there's so many ways I can violate my purpose, but I don't want to. I understand that I'm pro- I, there's a... F- you know, a spiritual football team going ahead of me. They're clearing the path. They're stiff arming the opposition. They're tackling them. They're blocking for me. You know, um, you're protected. You are protected. You just have to believe it. Because when you don't know you're favored, it doesn't mean you're not. It just means you're not going to behave like it. 